being based in Atlanta, although we've always practiced all over the country, we are aware of the situation, particularly in the Southeast, that has become a greater problem in the Midwest, not to mention the Northeast. And uh, finding workers who are willing to migrate for short seasons in the U.S. is a serious impediment to staying in business, much less growing. So Josh and I work extensively with growers to get into the H-2A program which nobody ought to do without some guidance because there are many legal requirements and lots of practical considerations in a difficult to comply with program. What would you say, Josh? What's your impression? Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. It's becoming more difficult to find homegrown labor to get the crops from the field to the, to the consumer uh, and this government program to allow temporary workers to come in the country as useful as it can be uh, as an avenue for getting those workers is also rife with risk. Uh, and there are a lot of very technical requirements and it can also uh, subject you to government audits uh, that you want to be prepared for. Uh, and so it's really important before jumping in with both feet to make sure that you have your ducks in a row and know what you're doing with respect to a lot of the technical requirements that come along with this program. One of the problems, for example, California growers have had over the years is the inability to provide housing. And, and housing is a requirement, no cost housing, for your H-2A visa holder workers, as well as for your U.S. workers who are in what the government calls corresponding employment. And so everybody is struggling to figure out a way to meet their labor needs in a way that they can afford and that may change uh, with what crops somebody can grow or cooperative relationships with growers in other parts of the country who may need workers at different times of the year so that you can stagger in a way what your needs are with somebody else's needs. But these are things to be thinking about in advance of the day that you say, I'm going to need workers here uh, February 1. Uh, basically, December the 15th is about, the, you know, that's no time to get started in thinking about whether you can afford it and what the processes are to get it done in a way that you can have a reasonable success. But at the same time, we can tell you people do it.